Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Howdy, hey. howdy. Let's hear about James's PDA story. Hey, howdy, hey, boys and girls. You talking about when you were, like, making out with Cody? Um, so, it's funny. My sister, in the past, she actually, she's totally okay with Cody, my dog, licking her mouth. Yeah, some people are okay with that shit. Yeah, like, she'll let him do that. She'll just be like, aw, thank you. Thank you for your kisses. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother some people. Supposedly, like, I... I, I would rather let Cletus fucking lick my face like that than fucking eat a pickle. <laughs> That's how much I dis have. That's how much disdain I have for fucking pickles. Dude, I never like whenever I get a burger, never have. I mean, for the longest time, I used to hate tomatoes, but I still. Oh, I hate tomatoes still. Yes. Oh, we agree. Yes. Fuck yeah. Horrible. Ow. Horrible. Um. <gasps> Whoa! Five uh, rupees. Oops. Oh, I thought it just <laughs> went invisible again. Not that it was gone. Um. Wait. wait. By the way, micro story. 10 seconds long. Do I have time to talk about it? Yeah, go for it. Then I'll share my PDA story. Okay. I went to that restaurant where we had the fucking bad interaction with the waiter. The waiter wasn't there. We had a different waiter. She was fucking awesome. We tipped her a bunch of money. We're probably going to email and say she was fucking awesome. And I had little tomatoes in my macaroni and cheese, and they were actually delicious. End of story. A little tomatoes? Yep. Really? Mini tomatoes. Mini tomatoes? Yeah, they were good. You didn't order them and they just happened to come with them? Yeah, I just didn't read the whole thing. It was, oh, you know, it's kind of like a bougie restaurant, so. Ah, bougie. Yeah. The one that you, me, and Jen went to yep. a couple months ago? Yeah. The one where we talked on Metroid Prime about yep. that fucking guy. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, my PDA story. He wasn't there and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's M maybe, saw. maybe they saw the episode of Royal Goobs and they're like, <laughs> yeah. we know exactly who. James and Elliot were talking about that. His ass is grass. This guy's in a lot of trouble. So, um, uh, me and a few friends, let's see, me and my friend R, my friend A, she's a girl. You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm not even, like, I, we don't talk anymore. I'll just. She had her boyfriend. No. Just leave it. Keep okay, going fine. With a. a. Okay, A, fine. Um, Again, it's for her sake too so we uh yeah you're right we we go to this rollerblading rink and it was fun we had a good time yeah so a's mom she picks us up in this uh big uh what are they called what are the big yellow cars called the hummer is that what they're called the big yellow car yeah i hate to break it to you but color of car is not specific to any <laughs> fucking model of car okay james put a picture of the car on screen hummers are big cars so like <laughs> We get in the car with her mom, and for some reason we were just sitting there in the car. We weren't leaving yet. I'm sitting in the front seat. My friend R is sitting in the front seat. In, in the, the back seat, Chad. So R was sitting in the back seat next to A and her boyfriend. It's completely silent. So I hear. I look back, and she and her boyfriend are making out. Fucking Christ. And how old were you? We were in like eighth grade. Oh, okay. So I guess, I suppose it makes more sense, because yeah. they just don't understand. But still, her mom was there. Yeah. Her mom was in the fucking car, and they were making out. Dude, that's hot. Maybe the, the mom... The like, Maybe the mom gets in on it. I... Well... It was fucking gross. We can only hope. We were just sitting there in awkward, awkward silence while they were making out next to us. I mean, so your situation sounds like it was worse, but ours was in a much tighter it proximity. Because we were in a fucking car... Yeah. So we were all just sitting there like... I mean, I was sitting okay. shoulder to shoulder with them, so I'd say I was in closer proximity. Yeah, but at least you were in a... You were like in an apartment, right? Yeah. So you, you had the ability to get out and walk. Oh, yeah, okay. I had the ability to leave. I mean, well, I mean, I could have gotten out of the car, too, but that would have been... Yeah. That would have been weird. Unideal. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. But they were... So, yeah, that's my PDA story. Damn, I dog. Don't, I don't know, dude. I, I, I think your pickle story is... Just because of the pickle juice... Ugh. Take out the pickle juice. I'd say both those stories are fairly awkward. Yeah. The pickle juice makes it even worse. <laughs> and if you are ever watching this shit, fuck you, you fucking dainty prick. <laughs> you nasty, nasty, thirsty girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ, keep it in your fucking pants. Are you talking about the guy or the girl? The guy. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that just happened. <laughs> sure did. Pete. Oh! You know, like, whenever I come over here, yeah, no, I... Yeah, I, honestly, if, like, Jen were to sit here with us, I wouldn't mind, like, if you 
like she sat on your lap or something and you guys were just holding on to each other that wouldn't bother me like because i've done that several times where like i've gone to friends houses and like they're a couple and they would just like sit with each other in a chair and that doesn't bother me like does no. that count as pda uh sure i would say it's pda but it's not to me again also that's not inappropriate pda mm -hmm. it's no, not it's like not. over the top or anything yeah like if, if you in general like just sitting yeah we're just right not like that though we're just not overly affectionate in front of other people yeah no that's understandable it's, yeah. it's just a comfort thing you know yeah it totally Ooh. in part for us it's just like we're very we're both very laid-back people we're not like jen doesn't tell me what to do i don't tell jen what to do you know <laughs> um i don't you know some people like are always checking up on their significant other like, you make sure you do this okay yeah like that shit's fucking that's yeah. bad yeah it's very unhealthy it, it's i mean it depends like um, if you're significant oh oh this room's cool it depends i have a thing for lava lava's awesome yeah dude it reminds me of this look this i feel like we're in bowser's castle right now All right, I'm sinking. <laughs> yeah the mario kart yeah, track does bowser's castle that, is this sinking oh yeah it is oh. i'm just waiting for one of those freaky uh, uh thwomps to go by go uh, 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 uh. and then there's the green one in the jail cell <laughs> so what were you saying though what was I saying? Um, I was saying it's inappropriate for somebody to tell their significant other like what, what to do, to do. And overly check up on them and stuff. It's, I mean, like sometimes it's okay to like be like if you know your significant other is doing something that's unhealthy for them. Sometimes it can be appropriate. Can you give an example. Um, like if they're doing a bad habit that. Say, for example, your significant other says, "Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing it. I'm gonna try," and then they keep doing it. It's like, dude, come on. Wait, does that Again, even count? Again, that's kind of generic. Yeah, that doesn't... You know what? Fuck it. I'm moving on. I'm talking on. about, like, where are you? What are you doing? Where are you? What are you... And, like, and overly that's... controlling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's not good. Yeah, no. And there's a difference between that and, like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know? But, like, where are you? Why haven't you messaged me? But, like, things like that. Like, Whoa. you know... Oh, jeez. I don't fucking do that. Jen doesn't fucking do that. But we've both met people who do that kind of shit, and it's like damn <laughs> you and jen are just sitting there and you just look at each other you're like damn that shit is i'm glad we're not major that. controlling yeah you know, some people just have more control issues you know yeah they do is, and is I, we... jen and i just both don't really have control issues you know what i i, I really respect that dude because yeah. a lot of for for the longest time like like other people in my family are also kind of ocd like I, i've had some ocd moments growing up and mm -hmm. yeah oh, okay, that's i kind of get how it is because like from your perspective it's like no i i i need to make sure that everything's fine Fuck. even if it's not my place to do it and it's like no dude you gotta just learn Let to go yeah you just gotta learn to accept you're not and i in feel control. like for a lot of people too and i'd say most people that's like a learned thing you know mm -hmm. like i'm sure like for everybody's you know first girlfriend or first you know first significant other boyfriend you like, people are like, I don't want to fuck this up. I need to make sure, like, you know, I'm on top of things. and every, Like, mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. But word to the wise, or less wise, or fucking retards watching the unenlightened. this show. The unenlightened. If you are in a relationship where you have, like, you doubt what your partner's doing, get the fuck out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, you shouldn't be in that relationship. If you can't trust the other person. Like, if you're like, oh, well, I can't let my, you know, boyfriend go out to the bars because if he gets too drunk, he might hook up with someone. Let him go out to the bars. Let him hook up with that person. Dump his fucking ass. He's a piece of shit. Like, don't live your life like, oh, well, we're great. We, we can do all this shit, but um, I don't like when they go out to here or I don't like when they fucking do this habit. I don't like, like, don't control them. Live someone who you're compatible with and... Make sure you're happy. Make sure they're happy. Don't, you know, don't try and change anyone. Fuck. Yeah. That is good advice, Elliot. Thank yeah. you. That's, that's like legit solid advice for you guys. Non, non jokey. Ah, oh, god damn I it. I think the door stays unlocked though. We're good. Yeah, it does. Okay, We're good. Fine. You got all the rubies? Yep. Okay, Our Christ. Well, doesn't even fuck. Oh, the silver rubies. Yeah, the silver rubies. I was like, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, wow, so how are you supposed to? Wait, we come over here. Long shot. Uh, I see. <sighs> yeah, I mean, do, would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I haven't really been in that situation. Like, I've never been cheated on or anything, at least as sure. far as I'm aware. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, like, the only... I've really only been in one true big relationship. Mm -hmm. And, I mean... And he was just, like, fucking buff. Yeah, he and... He was a stud. 
and he and I, like, we, we really trusted each other, <laughs> and we were super, it, we just, so, yeah, I don't know, but, yeah, no, that's a good point, dude. Yeah! Just don't try to. And that's something that comes with experience, I guess, like, I'm just telling the viewers, you'll be happier, like, that's the relationship Jen and I have, and again, I'm don't sure. Don't try too hard with yeah. somebody, if they're not, if mm -hmm. they're not gonna change, or, uh, the... like, yeah, um, uh, Jen doesn't try and tell me, like, oh, you can't hang out with this group of friends. You can't fucking go here. You can't, you know, mm -hmm. do these. Uh, and I don't tell her the same. You know, I'm like, oh, I don't like these friends. Don't do that. Like, Just let each other be. Exactly. And if if you have problems with that, go find someone else you're more compatible with. Yeah. Because, I mean, people are who they are. It's, exactly. It, it's an unfortunate truth that most people, in general, people don't change. Unless, like, you want to change mm -hmm. and you want to change part of yourself i just repeated the same thing <laughs> yeah um <laughs> chance if somebody doesn't want to change chances are they won't so if you choose to be with somebody who is super stubborn and refuses oh. to try and be a good person chances are no matter how much you try to control them or try to say hey i i heard if you do this it's it's better because you'll be happy and blah 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 chances are Nothing is going to change. So you might as well just surround yourself with good, positive people who don't bring toxicity and unhappiness into your life. Totally. There are people who you can just naturally trust, and you don't have to try to manage them. Yeah. Just like, fill, surround yourself with those kinds of people. Yeah, like, don't be friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't make the mistake I did, people. <laughs> this is a warning to you all. Don't be, like, slick frame. It's a trap you can never leave. Um, but yeah, no, that, that's something my uh, stepmom said. Just don't, yeah, smart. don't surround yourself with people who are toxic, because chances are they won't change. Yeah. It's, it sucks that most people won't change, but that's kind of just reality. Yeah. It's a fucking unfortunate... <laughs> unfortunate. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. really unfortunate. It's an unfortunate truth of reality, so, yeah. Oh my god, a rose. So just don't try too hard. Just, yeah, just don't. Around yourself again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Your nuts are frozen. Well, next time on Royal Goose, maybe we'll we get even more do serious. Do this, say, baby, 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 ba